ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chairman of the Academy, John Willis. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the London Hilton for the 2013 British Academy Children's Awards. The awards are BAFTA's annual celebration of the very best in children's film, television, games and online media, and of course, the exceptional talent behind those successes. Children live in an ever more complex world. They know how to swipe an iPad before they can use a potty. A diverse range of entertainment is there just by touching a screen. So it's more important than ever that our children's television is of the very highest quality so that it can make so it can help all our children make sense of the challenging world they live in while at the same time having fun. So it all starts with you, the talented people in this room. Indeed, the most influential person in my family is not the Prime Minister or Russell Brand, it's still Mr. Tumble. <laughs> Mr. Tumble. And the mischievous spirit of childhood lives on in all of us. After all, David Dimbleby, aged 75, has finally decided to rebel by having a tattoo. So all of us, adults as well as children, can appreciate the wonders of so much children's entertainment. BAFTA is a charity, passionately committed not just to celebrating excellence, but to inspiring others to do the same. We run scores of events a year aimed at engaging and stimulating young people. And BAFTA Guru, our video-rich website, is brimful of advice and creativity. We've also just launched our new campaign supporting young people entering the industry. It's called Give Something Back. Many of today's world-class British actors, directors, and other craftsmen and women were inspired by watching children's television. So thank you for laying down such strong foundations for our whole industry. Despite the obvious challenges, you are consistently brilliant. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. From the London Hilton on Park Lane, in the heart of the capital, we celebrate the very best in children's television, film, video games, and online media. the British Academy Children's Awards. Please welcome your host for this evening, Jake Humphrey. Evening. Good evening. 
I would have been disappointed if I'd have got a louder cheer than the Fonz. <laughs> hey, I don't want one. I don't want a bigger cheer than him. How exciting is that, by the way? Anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely to see so many of you here this evening, and welcome to your night. Welcome to the British Academy Children's Awards. Now, I dressed as a pink, six foot, three inch lobster, and ran around the Blue Peter Garden, <laughs> popping balloons filled with foam. I played the role of Dr. Lou's assistant, number two, <laughs> with fake feces stitched to my jacket. <laughs> it's true. I even helped to dry the tears of the, let's say, rather intense seven-year-olds who chose to be part of Bamzuki when they were finally voted off the show. There were some interesting kids that were involved in that program. <laughs> For eight years, I toiled on behalf of the children of Britain and never got the chance to stand here and hold aloft the beautiful golden BAFTA mask. And it still hurts. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? I'm thinking of making a return, actually, if Joe Godwin's in the room. I wouldn't mind. I want the chance. Uh, no, genuinely, though, I, I don't mind, because actually I got everything I ever wanted out of being a children's BBC presenter. I believe my entire broadcasting career is absolutely down to the mistakes I made, there was quite a lot of those, uh, the skills I learned and the hours that I spent being part of the wonderful family at Children's BBC. And I genuinely believe, right to this day, that it's the ultimate proving ground, whether you're a presenter, whether you're a producer, whatever kind of programme maker you are, it's the place to learn your skills. And these days, as a father to a beautiful nine-month-old little girl called Florence, who got christened today... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I now love it because it just buys me that lovely 20-minute window where she makes no noise. <laughs> and now you're thinking, I'm not such a good dad after all, aren't you? Yeah. Presenting this on the day that I christened my little daughter. <laughs> right, anyway, what a night we've got lined up for you this evening. It's so lovely to look around the room and recognise so many faces because the biggest shows in our industry are represented in here tonight. Make some noise for the Wolfbloods, everybody. They're here tonight. <laughs> what a show that is. But it must be hard, though, being a wolf blood. You know, there's a full moon, you're not allowed to stay up and see it. That must be painful. Uh, we've also got in the room the institution that is Peppa Pig. Come on. <laughs> but I'm not sure it was quite such a good idea to put Peppa Pig so close to the wolf bloods. It could get a little bit messy later on this evening. Um, I'm also delighted to tell you that tonight the CBB's Ugly Duckling is here. <laughs> yeah, don't clap. Because when I say here, um, you'll actually meet him at the after-show party, wrapped up in pancake. <laughs> Didn't write that one. Uh, Sam and Mark are also here from the Big Friday wind-up. Sam and Mark, <laughs> who could be walking away with an award this evening. But actually, the secret is that the wind-up is they're not even nominated. <laughs> but they think they are. Thank you for laughing. Uh, now, where are the Wizards vs. Aliens crowd? Are they in the room as well? I need to speak to you, because I think you're the only sport that BT Sport have yet to sign up. And they've got some serious cash, so we need to have a conversation a bit later on this evening. Uh, but it really is great that you're all here. We're going to have a wonderful evening. The alcohol will continue to flow. Someone said to me, they don't drink at the children's BAFTAs, do they? <laughs> yeah. And Holly Willoughby's left kids' TV. Right. Let's kick off in traditional style by looking back at a cracking year. <laughs> Quite right. 
quite right. You've clearly all had a wonderful year. So shall we get on with the awards? Shall we do this? Yeah. Right, OK. Let's announce some winners. And let's crack on with the first award. And the first awards this evening are for BAFTA Preschool Live Action. To present this, we have Acting Royalty. Yeah, that's right. She plays the part of Queen Marigold in Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. She's also the voice of Mummy Pig, and all evening is concerned. She might recognise some friends of hers in the sausage rolls at the after show party. Please put your trotters together for Morwenna Banks. Hello, everyone. Well, for someone who spent as long as I did trying to find an outfit that didn't make my thighs look chunky, it's lovely to be described as Mummy Pig. <laughs> so, now, this year's nominations are as varied as they are brilliant. From an allotment for children, to an ugly duckling trying to find its place in the world, from a series for children with special needs, to a land where everything is hairy. Let's have a closer look at the nominations. Preschool live action. See Bebe's ugly duckling. Does she look different to you? Yeah. How does she look? Uh, like a princess. And what do you think, Liber? Beautiful. Beautiful. She's not ugly duckling not anymore. anymore, is she? Ha ha, Harry's. One day, Minnie was taking Chihuahua -ha for a walk around Harryland. First, she played with him in the hairy apple orchard. Minnie loves Chihuahua more than anyone else in the world. Mr. Bloom's nursery. Get set, grow. Today, I've brought my travelling fate to West Bromwich, and I'm just off out to go meet some tiddlers. Hey, hello there, tiddlers. Hi. Something special. Choir. Practicing for a long time. Absolutely fantastic. So well done, everyone. The BAFTA goes to. Uh oh. CBB's Ugly Duckling. Uh, this is such a surprise. Um, we were surprised to be nominated, to, uh, so imagine our surprise to win. Um, just bringing ballet to a very, very young audience is just a fantastic thing. I have to say, it was Ali Stewart's idea originally to team up with Northern Ballet, and they were fantastic. So thank you very much, Ali. And um, Ben and the children, just beautiful in the whole show. It looked and, and it was just a fantastic show. Thank you. Um. Uh, having had a lot of history in classical music and dance, it was amazing to get the chance to bring ballet to children's television and to see BBs. And we really had an amazing week putting it together, and it was just in three days that we put this thing together. The ballet company were amazing, we had lots of support, a really good camera crew, and um, this is a huge surprise. It is. So, <laughs> and neither of us thought of anything to say. So thank you very much indeed to everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Kate. Wonderful. <clears throat> and judging by the acceptance speech, that genuinely was a surprise, wasn't it? Well done to them. Great news. OK, right, let's move on, because um, throughout this evening... Was that bad? Um, when winners head backstage, they're going to be greeted by a couple of rather friendly faces who are going to be interviewing all of the winners this evening. Now then, let's say a little hello 
to the Friday Downloads, Aidan Davies and TV presenter Michelle Ackley, who are there for us this evening. Um, they're going to be there with all of the interviews. And the important thing about tonight is that all of the stuff that happens backstage is going to be available on our website from tomorrow. This is a new one for us. Um, so if you want to head to BAFTA.org, then you can do that from tomorrow. So let's say a little hello to them this evening. Give them a wave. They're very friendly. Good evening, you two. So if you'd like to see the kind of stuff they're doing and the interviews that they're creating, then all you need to do is head to the website tomorrow. Also worth letting you know that tonight we're tweeting as well. All you need to do is just follow us at BAFTA tonight. We've also got the hashtag as well. I know most of you in this room are pretty busy on Twitter, so you can also use the hashtag BAFTA Kids. Give us a follow. We'd love to get it trending this evening, the Kids Awards. Right. Let's move on then to the next award. Now, this is for Factual. To present this award, we have a man who swum with sharks. A man who's caught king cobras, a man who's had a red-backed spider crawl across his hand, but strangely looked rather nervous backstage waiting to meet all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for BAFTA winner, Deadly 60s, Steve Backshall. Hello, hello. Uh, doing a great job. I would say you have very big shoes to fill, but being as you're a man mounted and Barney is, he's kind of more the fun sized Mars bar of a TV presenter, really, isn't oh, he? Nice. <laughs> Very best of luck for later on, though, Barney. I have to say that, I'm sitting next to him. Um, this award is given to children's programs that follow television's goal to educate, entertain, and inform. And the following programs have that in spades. Let's have a look at the nominations. Factual. Absolute Genius with Dick and Don. He was famous for coming up with a genius idea whilst in the bath. Not only was he a fantastic mathematician and engineer, but his genius machines are still being used today. He did all of this over 2,000 years ago. Why are you in my bath? I, I, don't, I don't know. My Life Breaking Free. Um, what if I put the cold? Is it fun on top of the end? And what's in your day, sir? And now they want to go out without mum. News round, hard times. And we lost the house and we came to stay here so we could have some shelter and sleep. When I first saw the place, I was I was I was upset because it was like it's so different from where I used to live. Operation Ouch. You've got to drink as much as you can. Right, you ready? No problem. Go. <laughs> Chris is struggling because whilst his brain is sending electrical charges to move his muscles correctly, I'm interfering by sending my own electric charges. And the BAFTA goes to Operation Ouch. Ian and Simone refused to uh, say anything, so they asked, uh, they asked Chris and I to step in in the event. Um, first of all, thank you very much, BAFTA. Thank you, CBBC and Cheryl Taylor, particularly for letting us news on a brand new series uh, next year. Thank you, Damien Kavanagh, for the original commission, Alex Fraser from Maverick, and Kez Magri for um, being our commissioning exec, for all our support. Um, Thank you very much to all the patients who have just done such an amazing job um, working with us, and especially to all the team at Maverick and CBBC who've just done extraordinary things. And most of all, Chris and I would like to say thank you very much to Ian and Simone, who are the nominees and who've really done an incredible job. Thank you.
Wonderful. They nearly went straight back to their seats. That would have been a bad moment for them. Someone just fell down the stairs as well. But it's all right, they've had their big moment now. It's OK. Right, let's move on, because to present our next two awards, we have two stars of Waterloo Road, who also happen to be presenters of the brilliant BAFTA award-winning CBBC series, Friday Download. Please welcome to the stage Kel Spellman and Shannon Flynn. <laughs> excelled in delivering a multi-platform media experience. Allowing kids to be interactive with their favourite characters from TV shows and games. Here are the nominations for multi-platform. Multi-platform. Champion Sheeps 2. Connect Sesame Street TV. Roll the first video! The lift. Alien event. Peppa Pig's Holiday. There are lots of fun things to do on holiday. At the airport. Find and drag the correct items to the x-ray machine. And the BAFTA goes to... Connect Sesame Street TV. Well, amazing. Uh, it took a year and a half to do this, so I just want to say a few thank yous. Thank you to all the families uh, that helped us out along the way. Thank you to the team at Microsoft and Xbox, uh, some of my team here. But especially thank you to Sesame Workshop, who reinvented children's television in 1969, and now, 40 years later, sort of turned the keys over to us and their sets and characters over to us to allow children to walk down Sesame Street uh, for the first time. So thank you very much. Learning Primary, the nominees are... Learning Primary Children of World War II One night, when everyone was asleep, a bomb found the house next door. How did you feel in the morning when you woke up and you realised the bomb had hit the house? I realised something very serious had happened and I could hear this, a lot of shouting. The people next door, where six people had been killed, had stood no chance. Found. Nakamura's new home was a viper's nest of bandits and assassins. What makes me, me? and other interesting questions. When Dave gets home, his wife, Yay! who's been really missing Dave a great deal, <gasps> is surprised. Hmm. She wants to know why he's got a new ship. I haven't got a new ship, says Dave. Dave's wife insists that it can't be the same ship. Dave insists that it is. You too can be an absolute genius. Some of you may be wondering what an inventor actually does. 
Well, it's lots of different things. For starters, they do their inventing in an amazing variety oh of places. From ships, to sheds, to swimming pools. And the BAFTA goes to... Children of World War II, Harvey Wolf, Dominic Sands and Tim Duck. Um, I think we'd like to say thank you to all those who took part in the show, so particularly to, uh, to Alan and to Isabel, to Betty and to Anisha and also to Sarah and to Tyler who let us share their, um, th their stories. I think um, also the guys from Milk also helped with us. Um, and just thank you so much. And uh, thank you to Sally Ann Keyser as well for the support she's given me personally through the years. Uh, can, I just, can I just say thank you very much to Katie Jones for having the confidence in us for our first commission. And I'd also like to say what was really exciting about this series was bringing together some very traditional programme making techniques of hearing older people telling their stories and as you will have seen some very modern animations. And it shows I think to some of us older people in TV that there's still room for traditional programme making. Thank you very much indeed. Well done. Well done, bravo to that sentiment. Right, now we move on to the BAFTA for performer and to present it, someone who knows a little bit about performing herself. A stand-up comedian who's as clever as she is funny. She's been a guest on new shows like Have I Got News For You, QI. She's even appeared on Question Time. This lady is at the top of her profession, although, to be fair, female Iranian comic isn't the widest of fields. Please put your hands together for Shapi Korsandi. Thank you very much. I have indeed been Iranian for ages. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is it, am I still it now? Yeah. Um, what a joy to be in this room. Um, I, uh, as, as a mother of two children, I know how entertaining them and their friends is not as easy as you guys in this room make it look. So I'm in awe of you makers and these performers for the fantastic uh, performances that they give. And the nominees are Amy Kelly <laughs> as Maddie Smith in Wolf Blood. Justin Fletcher as Justin in Justin's house. Phil Fletcher as Hacker in Hacker Time. And Bobby Lockwood as Reardon Morris in Wolf Blood. Let's remind ourselves of these four outstanding performances. Performer. Amy Kelly Look. as Maddie Smith in Wolf Blood. Maddie. I'll be down in a minute. I'm just feeling a bit weird. Turn your wolf off. This isn't me. Well, it must be. I'm being sick. Maddie. It's not. You're not doing this. No, I swear. Justin Fletcher for Justin's House. Come on, that's not very fast. You've got to stare it fast. I'll do it, everyone. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, I'll just pop that down there. Bobby Lockwood as Ridian Morris in Wolf Blood. Everyone gets to choose how they want to live. And I can't live like you. If you stay around, then we can see each other. Did she make you do this? Your tame wolf friend. Don't you ever call Maddie tame. Dennis, you're off the show. Phil Fletcher as Hacker for Hacker Time. 
Now, Susan, I've prepared some definitely true it's facts about it's you. It's Susan. Who? Susan. 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 Su Susan. Susan Barker. Right. I've prepared some definitely true facts about you. The BAFTA goes to Bobby Lockwood for Wolf Blood. Cheers. Uh, I really didn't expect this at all, actually. So, I guess first I'd like to thank, obviously, Amy Kelly and the rest of the Wolfblood cast, because obviously without them, I won't be here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really. Oh, this is. Um, thanks a lot. Thank you for obviously everyone, and just have a good night. And yeah, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. What a young star and what a special programme that is, by the way. Right, now we move on to the BAFTA kids' vote. This is where children have the chance to really have their say about a whole range of entertainment media. And this was a nationwide poll to find their favourite film, their favourite television programme, website and game. So, here to tell us who the winners are, please welcome to the stage a double act who, since winning the final of Britain's Got Talent just 18 months ago, have performed for the Queen, presented a children's TV series, starred in the TV adaptation of Mr. Stink, and their feature film is released next year, and they still find time to go for a walk. Please welcome to the stage, Ashley and Pudsey. everybody. If you walk away tonight without a BAFTA, you walk away with the memory of that performance and that's <laughs> enough. OK, now, the way that we're presenting the kids' vote this year is a little bit different from the other awards this evening, so let me just explain the way it works tonight. Once the four winners have been announced, they're going to be whisked backstage for a special presentation with Ashley and Pudsey, which can then be seen with exclusive coverage on our BAFTA.org website. Now, you will then have the chance to personally say thanks to your loyal audience at home. So if you do win this evening and you go backstage, please say something lovely because the people that voted for you will then get the chance to see that. As well as that, you can have a photo with Ashley and Pudsey will give you his autograph. Ready to move on? I am, yes. Ready to announce the winners? Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Off you go. Are you reading all of them or is... Well, it should up be Up to me, you, but... up to you. Yeah. Your well, firstly, it is an, an honour for both Pudsey and I to be here tonight. Uh, we will be announcing the BAFTA Kids vote. For television programme, the options were... The Amazing World of Gumball, The Dumping Ground, Good Luck Charlie, Horrid Henry, I Carly, Jesse, Phineas and Fern, Show Me What You're Made Of, Wizards vs Aliens, Wolfblood, and the winner is Jesse. <laughs> Next, the game selection were Angry Birds Star Wars, Cut the Rope Time Travel, Despicable Me Minion Rush, FIFA 13 Just Dance 4, Lego The Lord of the Rings. Minecraft, Need for Speed Most Wanted, New Super Mario Brothers 2, Skylanders Giants. And the winner is Despicable Me Minion Rush. <laughs> for 
for websites, the choices were... CBBC, Miniclip, Moshi Monsters, Disney, Club Penguin, Bin Weevils, Stardoll, girlsgogames.co.uk, Lego Worlds, Nickelodeon. And the winner is... Bin Weevils. <laughs> And the last one for feature film, the choices are... The Croods, Despicable Me 2, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, Iron Man 3, Life of Pi, Man of Steel, Monsters University, Star Trek Into Darkness, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2, and Wreck-It Ralph. And the winner is Despicable Me 2. Well done. Ashley Pudsey, thank you both very much indeed. And would all the winners please now make their way backstage where they will be joined by Ashley and Pudsey. Please put your hands together for them. Thank you very much for being here. Wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> the real winner there, though, was Pudsey. While that was happening, he had six pieces of sausage right here. Amazing. It's thin as well. Right, to present the channel of the year now, we have a very exciting young Arsenal player, which is a bit annoying for me because I support Norwich, and they recently smashed us at the Emirates. I must not trip him up. He also played for England, the football team, although judging how badly the cricket team are playing at the moment, he could get a game for them as well. But whatever happens next year, this young man is going to be in Rio. Either Rio de Janeiro for the World Cup or around Rio Ferdinand's watching it on the telly. Please put your hands together for the young Arsenal starlets. He's a great player, actually. Carl Jenkinson. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, this isn't an individual award. It's presented to a team. And more than anyone, we know the value of good teamwork. The nominees for Channel of the Year are Cartoon Network, CBBS, Q, and Disney Junior. Here's a snapshot of some of the programmes these channels have de have delivered this year. Channel of the Year. Cartoon Network. I got this feeling on a summer day when you were gone. I crashed my car into the bridge. I watched, I let it burn. I threw your shit into a bag and pushed it down the stairs. I crashed my car into the bridge. I don't care. CBBS. I said you're having a good time. Disney Junior. Hey, you want to come inside my clubhouse? And the BAFTA goes to CBeebies.
I'm totally caught off guard. I was so busy thinking, which Arsenal player is it going to be? That I, I didn't realise it was Channel of the Year. Um, and Jake knows only too well where my loyalties lie on the football uh, field. And I was actually at the Emirates yesterday. Um, it's, for many of you know, it's been a very difficult year, the last year. Um, So it's really nice to be back. It's good to be here and see so many friends um, in the industry. I've had amazing support and been shown a huge kindness from so many people, um, particularly, obviously, my teams up in BBC North, Peter and Joe, have allowed me to work throughout my treatment um, the way that it worked for me. So thank you so much for that. I think this year, more than any year, I have been so glad that I work in children's programmes because the community and support is just amazing. Whether it's long-standing friends like Alison Stewart and all the people who work with me up in um, Salford, the teams who've kept the channel running while I had to uh, sit in my little bubble, um, I'm very, very grateful to all of them. I'm also deeply touched by everybody from the independent community and fellow broadcasters who got in touch, sent flowers, and just generally kept in touch. It meant a huge amount when you're sat on your own, sometimes not being able to get out in the wider world. And I'm enormously proud of the content that we transmit on CBeebies. Everything that we do is for the audience. And I'm absolutely delighted that it's been recognized tonight. Thank you all so much. It's great to be back. <laughs>